Hi everybody and welcome to the Finnegan Farm Homestead. It is a cold 45 degrees, windy. Uh, we've had a little rain off and on, so no general gardening yet. Um, but I just wanted to show, we did take a trip to a couple of uh, greenhouses. And of course I can't help myself, so I wanted to do just a little mini Hall here of what we got at the greenhouses. So I originally went looking for a couple of herbs, stuff that I wanted to grow, specifically English thyme. So this is the English thyme we've got. We got a couple of these. So these are going to go out. They are not perennial in our zone here, um, but we're going to grow them as an annual this year. We'll see how it goes. These bloom in the summertime. They like full sun. We've got a couple of beds that are gonna be perfect for these. Uh, Well-drained soil, and again, the beds are gonna help with that. They grow to about 12 inches tall, and you space them about 12 inches apart. Fragrant foliage with a classic thyme flavor and aroma. Outstanding for seasoning poultry fish, pork, sauces, soups, herb vinegars. Uh, it's a good companion plant, actually, for tomatoes. So maybe we'll put this in a bed close to our tomatoes, or maybe even in a bed with our tomatoes. We'll see how it goes. And you can dry or freeze the leaves for winter use, or you can actually put them in a pot and bring them inside for the winter. Because again, they are not perennial in our area. And then the second herb that I went and got was some rosemary. And uh, I've never been able to get the rosemary to stay um, past the winter, so we grow these again as an annual. This one is interesting because it is a variety called barbecue. Most of the time, the ones that we find around here, the varieties are BARP, but this one is um, called barbecue rosemary. It's a little interesting. So it is um, very good flavor, very good aroma. It smells wonderful. But what's cool about it is that they make strong and straight stems and they grow fast. So um, they're a little woodier, I think, than the ARP. And what you can do is use them for skewers when you're barbecuing and things. So I was kind of happy to find this and I got a couple of these. Two of them. So we'll have some rosemary out there. And that's really what I went to get. Now having said that, Usually can't resist, so I bought some pepper plants. So there are six nice little pepper plants, and this is a variety called Chervina chusca. This is a um, plant that originally came from Bulgaria, believe it or not, the Bulgarian heirloom. Plant produces beautiful, long, triangular, sweet peppers even in a short season, so we should do great here in the Midwest. Um, this, what I'm reading, says it does not beat the Jimmy Nardello or the Melrose for earliness. However, it has absolutely outstanding flavor with its nice thick skin when roasted and is great fresh as well. Ripens from green to fire engine red. So I thought those were pretty. Now there was a, a lady walking around the um, greenhouse looking for a specific pepper and what she was looking for was the King Arthur. Um, I happened to overhear her talking with another fellow that was in there and her husband had sent her into this greenhouse specifically to find King Arthur peppers. If they did not have King Arthur peppers, don't get anything else. So she sold me on it. I had to get myself some King Arthur peppers and these, these are the four plants we got of the King Arthur. King Arthur is a hybrid, it looks like. It's an F1, um, produces massively thick walled fruits that turn from red, I'm sorry, turn from green to red if left on the plant. Let's see, it is a hybrid, sweet pepper variety, heavy yields of extra large bell peppers. So I assume the extra large bell peppers is what fellow sent his wife in to get so and it sounds like they um, not only make big ones but they make a lot of them so 
we're gonna try King Arthur as well. And then the last one I got is just a Poblano Ancho. I grow these every year. It's kind of a milder hot pepper. Um, knowing that I can get these in the uh, greenhouses, I never really start these, but um, use them for stuffing. You can use them for chili rollenos. I have smoked the red ones and dried them up for uh, chili powder before. So anyway, we got six of those. I also, um, our local greenhouse is going to have sweet potato slips. So I put my name on the list for some of those. I'll get a dozen of those when they come in. Um, typically in our area, they come in from somewhere in the south. Um, and then we'll, we'll grow sweet potatoes up in beds as well. But So we're kind of chopping at the bit to get out into the garden, but it is just still too cold, um, too wet to do anything live out there, but it's not gonna be long.